Hi, I'm Marie, and welcome to LearnKey's IC3 GS6 course on digital literacy. Now that we know some basic functions of a web browser, let's take a look at some of the digital environments we can access with it. Keep in mind that in order to access the internet, we do have to either have a wired or wireless connection through an internet provider. We'll go into this more in depth later, but I wanna show you how to access your computer's connection. I'm using Wi-Fi, which is a wireless connection. I'm going to click on the Start button and then Open Settings. We can see under Network and Internet that Wi-Fi is listed. I'll click on it. I'll select Wi-Fi from the menu on the left. Now, my Wi-Fi is already connected to the internet, so I could create this video. But if it wasn't, I would be asked to enter credentials. You would enter the password here and wait for it to connect. Another way to connect to the internet is to click this internet icon on the toolbar. Select your Wi-Fi connection and enter a password to connect. Since I'm already connected, we are ready to open a web browser. I'll open Google Chrome. Now, if you are younger than, say, 30, give or take, you have probably heard an older adult explain how they had to go to the library and check out a huge stack of books in order to complete a research project. Adults, can you relate? Well, we are in the digital age. We have a digital library full of information literally at our fingertips. Not only that, but we can access today's weather, the news, and yummy new recipes within seconds. Watch this. I will use the Google search engine to research the history of hairspray. I'm provided with pages and pages of information about hairspray. This is one way to research. Do be careful that you are using reliable sources though. Another option would be to use an actual digital library. One I've used in the past is the Digital Public Library of America. Let's go there now. I could browse for a specific book or by topic. Let's see what we can find out about baseball. We are provided with some history on baseball. 